The astral energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? So doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the Wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Rena's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Rinwell, you're gonna... <gasps> Rinwell! to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. Is this fear? Rinwell! Rinwell! Are you okay? No, I'm... I'm fine. I think... What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed! He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But... but... I know now! I know how the Great Spirit thinks! I know what it wants! How it feels! Rena's Great Spirit wants to complete the world. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. Is that what you're saying? <sighs> the Great Spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted, like just pure fear. Like an animal acting out of instinct. Although, admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Rinwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also... Be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. 
But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been, there'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. <laughs>